So let's look a little more closely at our first existence theorem. The theorem that says that the law of one price implies a unique discount factor in X uh, that prices all the payoffs. What does that say really and what does it not say? Be careful. First of all, it says there is a unique X star in X. That doesn't mean that there aren't other discount factors that won't be in the payoff space. Um, for example, uh, let's look at this algebraically. If price equals E of mx, then we can always say E of m plus epsilon x, add some noise. If that noise is uncorrelated with the payoffs, then you get the same price, uh, you get the same price out of a new discount factor formed as the old discount factor plus noise. So there will be many discount factors, uh, and uh, e x star isn't the only one of them. X star is the unique one in X. Here's a diagrammatic version of the same thing in our state space diagram. I've taken an example where there's a unique payoff, a single payoff, that generates a line for our payoff space. X star will be a payoff in the payoff space, there it is, but there could be other discount factors. Here's a discount factor M, that generates the same price for all of our payoffs in the payoff space. E of MX, the inner product of M with X, is the same as the inner product of X star with X because the difference, epsilon, is off at right, hand, at right angles. That expresses the same thing in graphs as that expresses in algebra. So there's lots and lots of possible M's. In fact, there's a whole space of possible M's. Anything on that, on that orthogonal hyperplane there can be a discount factor. All possible discount factors, in fact, can be formed this way. Any discount factor, such that the price, that this is just defines a discount factor, the price is the expected discounted payoff, any discount factor M is of the form M is X star plus some additional noise, where that noise is orthogonal to the payoff space X. Why are there so many discount factors, you say? Ah, because we have an incomplete market. If we had a complete market, the discount factor contingent claims price would be unique. But now it's not unique. There's only one in X, but there's lots of them that are not in X. Another way of stating the same thing, X star is a very special discount factor because take an arbitrary discount factor like M. Well, X star is the projection of the arbitrary discount factor onto the payoff space. That's a lovely little result and maybe an advertisement for thinking geometrically. If you, did that, if you did that with algebra, you'd never know how anybody thought it up. But if you just make the diagram, it's clear that any discount factor projected on the payoff space gives us X star. For example, a discount factor, your marginal utility of consumption growth might be out here. But uh, your marginal utility of consumption growth and my marginal utility of consumption growth, which might be out there, they, they're not equal anymore because we don't have perfect markets, but their projections on the payoff space are the same. That's the sense in which with incomplete markets, there's some risk sharing, but not complete risk sharing.